Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day three <laughs> of our daily life. Um, honest, today, we both don't got it. Hmm. We are tired. We are very tired. Dustin is laying on the bed. I'm beat. There's little Miss Pris. <laughs> By God, she is getting sleep though. So oh, thank God thank for that. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, so yeah, it's it's a typical, I guess, bringing a baby into the home and um, expecting to not get very much sleep. But we are getting up. We are getting moving. Um, we got our black and camo boot camp about to start in about 30 minutes. So yeah. Just wanted to share a little bit of that with you and that's basically what we're going to talk about today kind of what got us here with the dog what we all got going on and why we chose what we chose and yes we understand like we chose this we're, we're not complaining we're just tired <laughs> we're just tired um but yeah we're all right we're just tired just tired yeah so with that um let's get our workout on So as you can see, Journey's running around wild, actually walking herself right now. <laughs> she, she likes to walk herself. Which is all right for now. We had a pretty decent day today. Um, we Very were tired, relaxed. pretty relaxed. Tanya and I was able to get a bunch of work done and Journey was actually really good. We kind of just let her be kind of let her do her thing and we kind of did our thing and we paid attention when we needed to pay attention and we let her kind of get through what she needed to get through so we think we're on the right track we're out for our walk this evening so that we could possibly make her a little bit more tired instead of first thing in the morning where she ended up sleeping all day so that part is on us yes. so we're out for a walk i'm gonna tire her out and tire us out and hopefully we all get an amazing night's rest but with that we wanted to talk to you guys today about this journey where we got to and how we got with our new little puppy and why we ended up with a puppy so before tanya and i hit the road we had two dogs a sheltie and a boxer and in 2016 Tanya had to put our Sheltie down, which was her dog, Dakota. And it was probably one of the hardest things she's ever had to do. It was very, very hard. Um, in a way, for not being able to have kids, it was like he was my child, even though I know it's a dog, but it was like having, it was like losing your child. Um, it took me two, at least two years to really kind of get over it. Yeah, and she's far from over. Don't let her fool you. And I don't mean yeah. that rude, baby. No, but I, if I, you bring up her dog, I get, there's, I get it's, teary eyes. Yeah, it's still emotional because no. we're dog people. We love dogs, and that's that's how it works. So after he was put down, we decided we had to do this. We had to take off. We had to travel the world and see what we could see and do what we could do. And so I still had my boxer, and we decided we were taking him with us. We were gonna run wild, young, and free together. And we were going to enjoy all the sights and do all the things. And on our last leg, before we hit the road, we were planned to move into a studio apartment and he was coming with us. Well, about two weeks before we moved into our studio apartment, on July 4th of 2017, he passed away. So, it was just the two of us, you and I. But since then, there's always been an emptiness in our hearts. 
Yep. We haven't had our little friend with us. We haven't had our puppy. And I started to feel that emptiness of motherhood. Um, actually the last three weeks, I would say, I've felt very empty inside and like, kind of like a woman who wants so badly to get pregnant but can't. And that's kind of how I felt. I was lost and um, you know, we, we had put in for adoptions for pets that we had seen and we were turned down because we weren't local or because we lived in a bus. And it really just kind of added fuel to my emotions, so. Yeah, the last few weeks has kind of been a roller coaster. Basically since January 2nd when we left for, uh, left my job and, and headed for Schooly Palooza, we've basically been looking for animal, or for looking for a dog. And since <laughs> it's been a little different, um, some places weren't appreciative of us living in a bus, so they didn't even consider us for adoption. Some places, uh, had just adopted dogs that we wanted, or you know they weren't even open to the situation. So some dogs went by, and some places went by, and I just kept telling her, baby, whenever it's supposed to happen with whatever dog is supposed to happen with, it will happen. And we ended up finding the Nuzzles and Co. And we actually had found another dog. And Tanya had inquired on it, and it had literally just been adopted that day. So I was heartbroken. You know, and by heartbroken, I mean, hump tears, sadness, um, straight up. And so it was, it, it's been a struggle. It's been, it's been hard. And we just kept in our hearts knowing that we would find exactly what we were looking for and exactly who was looking for us. And we ended up sticking with the same place. And the following morning, this little girl showed up and Journey was available. And after talking to them and explaining our story and telling them that we travel all over the country, we live in a school bus, we're outdoors people, we're nutrition and fitness coaches, like it was no question in their mind that we would be a good fit for our little journey. Now, mind you, her name is Cutie, but not according to us. <laughs> nope. <laughs> and like we told you yesterday, we are actually just full-time foster parents right now um, until this uh, coronavirus thing is lifted where she can be spayed and then she will be permanently ours. Hi, honey. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what is that. She's like, I don't know what to think. What is. Come on. Come on. Are you frolicking? What are you doing? All right, guys, we are back from our walk, and this little gal, she walked the full 45 minutes, never whined. Okay, maybe, maybe like once or twice. But she did really, really good, and we are so proud of her. We're trying to keep her awake so that way she can sleep maybe the full night. She's a little cranky because she wants to go to sleep so bad. But right now we are, what are you doing? Making pancakes. What kind of pancakes? Uh, mine are gonna be cinnamon protein pancakes. And I am having? Gluten-free pancakes. Gluten-free, dairy-free pancakes for me with chocolate chips. So anyway, um. We didn't have a whole lot of excitement today. Again, we were just really trying to um, let her get adjusted and all of us were super tired. So, um, yeah, that's it. that's it. We're going to enjoy these pancakes, wind down for the night. Hopefully we can all three get some good restful sleep and we'll see you guys in the morning. Bye.